Section 2.14, Index Laws. This is part of my ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSE, um, the algebra section. We have the index to the algebra section here. If you click on this button on YouTube, it'll take you back to the uh, index for algebra, which will show you all the different topics. Um, and some practice questions will appear down here to do with index laws. Also, I'll probably put a video down here if you're not familiar with the standard index laws. Um, then um, you, there'll be a, a video down here for you to click on to just remind yourself of those. The one extra index law that uh, is, is not very familiar, and I think a lot of people just don't know this one, including teachers, is um, if we have a, something written like this, so a uh, x to the power of a to the power of b, when we're dealing with this index um, question, if there's no brackets around the x to the power of a, then to the power of b, um, you must start in the top right hand corner. See so what you would do there is a to the power of b. It's like it's like it's like it's written like this a to the power of b first, and then you do x to the power of whatever that is. So if we had 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2, we do 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, so we'd end up with 2 to the power of 9. Okay, what we wouldn't do is do um, 2 to the power of 3 was 8. And then to the power of two like that, that's not that's not correct. We must start from the top and work our way down. Um, but that's that's a very unusual one, but I have seen that on an exam question. Okay, um, so just to run through three examples of index questions, uh, indices questions, and um, we've got to, to solve um, an equation, simplify some index laws, and then solve um, a question giving your answer as powers of three. Okay, so our first one is x to the power of 3 upon 2 equals 8. Um, now, if you're familiar with your index laws, you know the power of 3 upon 2 is the same as um, x to the power of a half cubed. Um, x to the power of a half is the square root of x, and then we're uh, cubing it to get this 8. So if we undo this, we do the cube root first. The cube root of 8 um, would give us 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And then we undo the, the square root by squaring. We get 2 squared, which is 4. So x would be 4. So it's the, the usual one is actually on, on, a, on a GCSE exam. You would have something like what's 4 to the power of 3 upon 2, and you'd have to work out the 8. This is a reverse of that. You're undoing the indexes. OK. We've got a simplifying question here. We've got a square root of some powers multiplied by each other. So the rules for multiplying powers, if we deal with the inside under the square root first, so the rules for that are x to the power of 7 over, oh, 7 over 2 times x to the minus 3 over 2. When you multiply powers of the same base number, you just times the two powers together. So we get x to the power of 7 over 2. Sorry, we just add the powers, not times them. Um, plus minus 3 over 2. So 7 over 2 plus minus 3 over 2 is the same as 7 taken away 3, which is 4 over 2. And 4 over 2 is just 2. So it's x squared. So we've got the square root of x squared, and that's just going to be x. Now, you've got to be a little bit careful with things like plus and minuses, but when you've got the square root symbol drawn on it, it's asking it's, it's imply that it's the principal root of x. Um, so you don't have to put the plus or minus thing on there. OK, um, solving this equation, so x cubed is equal to this. Um, Trying to think, think of a quick way of this, but this, this, um, this 3 to the, three, uh, to the root 3, 3 is 3 to the power of 1. And root 3 is 3 to the power of a half. So you're times in those two powers. And that's the same as the power of 3 upon 2. So x cubed is the same as 3 to the power of 3 upon 2. Um, so if we again we split this up into 3 to the power of a half to the 3, then you can see that x to the power of 3 must be this three and a half to the power of three. So x equals three to the power of half. Um, 
and that's your answer. So you give the answer as a power of 3, so 3 to the power of a half. That's the square root of 3, but it says it's a power we, we want to as a, a fraction there. So 3 to the power of a half. You might have, um, you can possibly do this intuitively if you think about uh, 3 being root 3 times root 3. So that, that statement there is root 3 times root 3 times root 3, which is root 3 cubed. So root 3 um, must be what x is because that's x cubed. Okay, so there's some examples of powers of the sort of types of power questions you would get on the further maths uh, GCSE.